How are you doing guys and welcome back to the channel. I'm that guy Ads and in today's video we're going to talk about if an R32 is better than a GTI and I'm talking about driving, performance, interior, exterior, everything. Also check out the giveaway I'm doing. You could be in a chance of winning a remap for your car so yeah all, all links will be in the description below. Let's get into it. Right guys, so this R32, again, I'm gonna be honest with you, I've, I love my family members. This is a family member's R32. He said, here's the keys, do what you gotta do. Knowing me, you know me guys, I'm not gonna say no, yeah? So anyway, this is a Mark V R32 Golf. They push around 250 brake horsepower standard. This one in particular is remapped, um, but it was when he purchased the vehicle, it was about 235. So it's now been mapped to 275, if I'm correct. He's got dyno papers and everything to prove that. And yeah, it is a 3.2 litre V6 engine, four motion, so it is four wheel drive. And I guess that's why these are more fun to drive against the, you know, the Mark V Golf GTIs. In terms of cosmetics and obviously exterior, they look very similar. This has obviously a larger brake setup, so it's got 350 mil discs up front, and I believe it's two. I think maybe two uh, two ninety five on the back. I think I'm not sure. Correct me if I'm wrong in the description below. Yeah, I mean they come standard with xenon headlamps. Obviously, they have the headlamp washers as well. Come normally with obviously. 18 or 19 inch alloys from what these are yeah these are 18 inch uh, they come with the rear lamps they are slightly tinted compared to the gti's they one big difference is obviously the lower valance and the exhaust this you know the, the mark 5 r 32s come with the center dual tip exhaust uh, with the obviously the cat out and the diffuser this has had it's got a sports cat sports d cat and downpipe and it's got a custom cat back exhaust by ppl it's also been remapped by ppl as well interior wise it's all stock nothing really done to the interior so yeah i mean other than that it looks like a very basic stock standard r32 it's got a bit of power in it so yeah i mean i know what you guys are waiting for i think we should just get straight into it let's go for a drive what are the differences between a mark 5 r32 and a mark 5 gta one is obviously the four wheel drive two is obviously the engine this being a 3.2 v6 naturally aspirated and a mark 5 being a two litre turbo well let's see if it's like um i guess that's all that's that's they're the main differences in terms of drive wise you've got to give it to the mark, mark 5 r32s i mean it just drives so much better and it's just so much like it's just stuck on the just stuck on the ground in terms of interior it's, it's exactly the same nothing is actually different everything yeah everything is obviously yeah these little uh inserts here have that chrome carbon fiber type effect to it um and that's about it it's obviously dsg as well same like mine um it's got the flappies the, also the clocks they have a blue uh, lit up needle instead of a red lit up needle which is different and I, to be honest I prefer this this display than the uh, so it's also got a full uh, FI it's called a FIS full uh, instrument display um, so that's 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 a big big plus for me everything else with the interior is just exactly the same obviously levers <laughs> they, these do not come standard with the car these obviously he's purchased these so i might actually take them actually i'm not sure 
<laughs> if your pillars go missing, I'm sorry, man. Um, but yeah, I mean, in terms of everything else, it's, it's just the only difference is obviously just to drive. So I'm gonna keep driving a bit and uh, really put my foot down. over a GTI but then obviously with the GTI you get more benefits in terms of increasing power etc with these to get big boy power you got to do some serious stuff like supercharge or turbo conversion and then it's, that's not pocket change that's like big 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 that's like your, your pocket's got to be deep for that shit you can't you can't fault a, a Mark 5 R32 even a Mark 4 R32 you can't fault now me personally I did want to get a Mark 5 R32. The only thing that kind of put me off was uh, obviously in terms of maintenance. These aren't cheap to maintain, you, you know. Uh, road tax on these, for for example, some of them range from about £300 to um, £300 to about £500. So. So, you know what, <laughs> this noise, man, you can't, <laughs> oh my god. I might just go back and just say to him, hey, listen, take my GTI, I'm taking a 32, that's it. <laughs> He's going to tell me to fuck off. No, this is definitely, you know what, this is, these are exciting to drive, like, very exciting, and I love the way that it just grips the road, like, so nice. I don't want to give it back. This is so 
long one's fun to drive. Say it's your first mapped R32 that I've driven. Um, so the 275 brake is for a Mark 5, but well, stock looking Mark 5 is actually quite a good number, I guess. Now you can definitely, so in D is not as um, aggressive than it is in S. S obviously a lot more aggressive, and you can definitely. Let's see automatically. Definitely feeling S. Yeah. I think I might just leave an S and drive home. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Do me a massive favor. If you're already subscribed, you know what to do, guys. Smash that thumbs up button. Share the video to your friends and family if you know if you think that they can benefit from it. And um, yeah, carry on supporting the thing, guys. I'll see you guys soon.